97th all-time meeting. One of the oldest rivalries in the SEC. And we're underway. Cyrus Jones about two yards deep. Across the 25 and down the sideline. Kicker's going to try to drag him out of bounds and will. With Eddie Lacy with McCarron. He pump fakes and throws a screen back to Lacy going to the left side. Looked like he'd lose yardage, but he's dragging people out to the 47 for a pickup of six. Led by Barrett Jones in the center, about to snap it to McCarron on a second down and three. The stretch play to Lacy. Got the first down. And a couple more. Pick up a five. Alabama, 46% of their third down conversions this year. They've already converted one tonight. McCarron is flushed out of the pocket. Does a little traffic direction, trying to get a block. And did he tiptoe out of bounds? Good enough with the first down. It looks like he might be a foot short. Both tight ends join him over there. Fourth and short. Lacey goes that way. Wow, Boy, he had to earn it. I think he got it, but he didn't get it by much. D. Arrington from the secondary came flying in there as they work from just outside the Mississippi State 35. Play action. McCarron. Long ball on the sideline, and it's brought in by Norwood. Nice throw and catch to the 21, a pickup of 15. And if you haven't seen this freshman, he's something else. The guy in the backfield with McCarron. He gets the call, and he pops through to the 11, maybe the 10. Might have another first down. I think he does. Ninth play of the drive. It's carried them from their own 41. And in the shotgun, McCarron. Draw play, Yeldon. Cuts it outside, inside the five, and touchdown. Ladarius Perkins and Jamie and Lewis are back deep for the Bulldogs. It's a high short kick. It's going to be fielded at the eight by Perkins. Perkins, and he found an avenue across the 35, 40. Ball is out. And I don't know, was it covered before it went out of bounds? Well, they're pointing that Mississippi State has maintained possession. And now Tyler Russell, empty backfield on the first snap, but great field position for the Bulldogs on their first offensive series. Blitz already coming. He's going to throw, completes, out to midfield. So Mississippi State and Alabama territory. Play action. Russell fires, completes. It's going to be very close to a first down to Sylvester Hampville as we check in with Reese Davis. Reese, four receivers for Russell. They fake the draw. He stands tall and goes deep. And he's got his man down the sideline. Complete to Chris Smith. What a throw and catch. Alabama's only given up three points all year in the first quarter. We saw that last week in Tennessee. And now they block the kick. D. Milner with a block. That they are. Somebody's going to go home with a loss tonight. Here's A.J. McCarron on play action. Flares it out to the fullback, Kelly Johnson. And he's about a yard shy. Darius Slay over on the corner stopped him. They run the extra tight end over to the right. See if they go that way on short yardage. They actually go the other way. Lacey's got the first down anyway. As he picks up a couple, they'll move the sticks, and we'll check in with Reese Davis. Right now, Alabama on the march here, leading by a touchdown. Play fake, quick throw out in the flat again. And that is the tight end, Michael Williams, who had a touchdown catch last week against Tennessee. So second down and three. And an end around coming. Jones, and he's got the first down. Christian Jones, Deontay Skinner made the tackle, but he, he'll move the sticks again. Best game ever, single game, as far as yardage for a freshman receiver for Alabama in the game we saw last week in Tennessee. McCarron, plenty of time. Long ball, man out there, he's got him on the fly. Kenny Bell, touchdown. Nick Griffin in the tailback spot for Mississippi State. He gets it on a little counter up the middle. And a great run by Nick Griffin. Sophomore goes for almost 10. It's either a quarterback run or he's going to throw it. He will. And he throws a slant and throws a strike across the 40 to Malcolm Johnson. Russell waits and fires. Would have been a great catch. Yeah, that was, was a flag. Yep. Arcito Clark, the intended receiver. I think had a hold of Pass interference, defense number 28. The penalty will place the ball on the foul. 
and includes an automatic first down. Well, we'll see if Swedenberg can knock one out of bounds down inside the 10. Fair catch taken at the 11, maybe the 12. And a penalty marker. Wait a minute. Going to be an interference on a fair catch. Interference with the opportunity to catch a kick. Kicking team number 38. The penalty is 15 yards. I think we got an unsportsmanlike conduct on Dan Mullen to boot. Another flag just flew in. You might have seen how close he was into the face of the officials. Here's the call. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Mississippi State bench. 15 yards for the lead. Now it's Tyden Williams on the move on second and 10. That will be what they do. And yelled in. Might get the first down anyway. He does. Goes for 12 or 13. As McCarran in the gun. Fakes the handoff to Yeldon and fires out in the flat to Williams, a tight end, puts his head down. And he's going to be right at the first down marker. I think he got it. From just outside the Mississippi State 35. And McCarran off play action is going to take a shot deep down the middle. Perfect strike complete to Amari Cooper down to the 11. Good call, Todd. McCarran lobs it. Williams, touchdown. Something happened to Jonathan Banks, too. I think he was either fooled by the formation, thought he was going to get help from inside, but he kind of went to sleep on the backside. It wasn't man-to-man -man coverage. Tyler Russell's only hit one of his last six passes. And penalty markers down. Going to have a delay of game or a false start. One of the two. Second and 15, play fake. Russell, pressure, down he goes at the five. Denzel Duvall, a freshman linebacker with a sack. Swedenberg deep in his own end zone, hasn't had a punt block this year. And the return is on for Alabama. On the other end, Jones, tough catch. Right about at the 49, he gets three or four. Averaging right up about 10 yards per return. And over end punts. Banks takes a hit at the end of it. Flag flies in. D. Milner, who came down there. Banks clearly Peter signaled Perry fair catch. Kick. Kicking team number 28. 15 yard penalty. First down. You saw Benny Sanceri go airborne, and Russell had to kind of throw it over the top of him. Punt. Cyrus Jones with a fair catch call, and he'll take it at the 32 yard line. Mississippi State's offense hasn't been able to do anything about producing offensively when they get the ball. Deep kick. Banks has to let it go. It bounces at the five. I think it made the end zone by about the length of the football. And the tie defense has shut out Bumpus so far with seven minutes remaining in the half. Russell, pressure coming again across the middle, completes. Out to the 30, and that's Clark. And holding offense, number 75. 10 yards to the previous spot. Bossell, the left down. tackle. A little bit of a rugby style punt again. And Cyrus Jones takes it at the 43 yard line. Alabama's defense pitching another shutout. The numbers are almost identical. They, they have not dropped off one bit. Play action, McCarran. Whoa. Took a nasty spill. Remember, he hurt his ankle in the Missouri game. And Dell really got a hold of his last punt, but it just made it into the end zone. High kick, Banks. Making a fair catch. Nice to get out of the way. One of his own players was there, and it's going to roll all the way down to the six yard line. Well, you can have that in very big uh, graphics when you got arms up there. I think that one's on the side of his head, actually. <laughs> Cyrus Jones. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm not joking. <laughs> Let's check in with Reese. Yeah. I think you worked the two-minute offense here. Good opportunity for McCarron. Throws it out to Williams. That's going to get him into Bulldog territory, close to a first down. At the 45-yard line is... If we say one more thing about him, he's going to bench press one of us yeah. when the game is over. Put whatever he wants on the side of You bet. We're going to argue with him. Second down in a yard. Going to go deep. McCarron. 
Jones with a catch, and he made it at the 22. At the Bulldog 22. They fake it to Yeldon. McCarron throws complete to Williams, the tight end. He stepped out of bounds at the 17 or just inside the 17. McCarron to hold. It'll be a 34 yard field goal attempt to try to make it 24 to nothing. Kick out of the way, and it's perfect. So last year, it was a 24 to 7 Alabama win. Right now, they lead 24 to nothing, and we're not yet at halftime. But his leadership, he's impressed with this year. The command he has of everything that they're doing offensively. Guy that was right behind him in pass efficiency in this conference, Tyler Russell. Russell pressure throws complete. Finally, they get one to Bumpus. It's not a big gainer, and he's got three guys draped all over him for a pickup of seven. They could pick up a deep out here. Something might have had a shot and a Hail Mary, but the time is wasting. This will be the last play. And they get it across the middle, but clock runs out. Should have used the timeout. I don't understand. At least give yourself a shot to throw it to the end zone. Last 28 games. They've either led or been tied at halftime. Swedenberg to punt. Again, he lines up to take a couple steps to his right before he punts it. That's a good kick. Cyrus Jones camps under it back. Inside the 35 yard line where Alabama will go to work offensively for the first time in the second half with a 24 point lead. First down Alabama with a 24 point lead stretch play to Andy Lacey going to the sideline. A second down at six. You'll get it again. And he runs in to the Mississippi State defense and keeps on grinding and he's close to a first down. They also have Kenyon Drake, who plays some a youngster, but those two guys carry the bulk of the load. Play fake. McCarron throws on the run and diving for it. Going to the ground to get it is Cooper for the first down. Alabama doesn't have a real long ball field goal kicker. So they'll just play the percentages here, try to drop this inside the five, and it's caught at the one-yard line by John Fulton. That's how you do it. Again from his own end zone. Throws a strike, and it's a first down. And off comes the helmet of D. Milner. He'll have to go out for a play as Lewis made the catch. Perkins with Griffin in there as well. He follows Griffin's blocking, and he goes out close to another first down. They hustle up to the line. And Perkins pops through there. Sincero made the stop again, but he... Got three yards on the carry. Empty backfield. Russell has time, throws high, but caught by Green, the tight end. And a pickup of around six. That makes it very difficult if you're an offense going against him. Second and four for Russell. They bring an extra rusher, and he's going to get leveled, but he got the pass complete somehow. Clark. And Nico Johnson really blasted Russell. Uh, again, a typical player on this defense. Solid, fundamentally sound, plays with great hands and leverage. Tenth play of the drive, play fake, and the throw to the far side. It's complete to Green. Green on the sideline gets a first down. Stays in bounds on the drive. Tyler Russell has only missed once. Play action, wants to go deep. On the sideline, he's got a man open, and it's complete to Chris Smith, and Chris Smith drags a couple of tied players to the 13-yard line. Now you've got to make a few more plays and get in that Alabama end zone if you're Mississippi State. Bumpus in motion. First down at the 13. And whistle stop play. Flags down. Prior to the snap, ball start, offense number 61. Five-yard penalty, it remains first down. That's a call. Got it away, play fake. Trouble in the pocket, and he throws, and it is caught somehow at the six-yard line. I don't know how he got that pass away, and I don't know how Chris Smith made the catch. Adrian Hubbard actually got a yep. hand on that ball, and he had to re-clutch, and he did. And now they're trying to get a first down, and they've got it, first and goal. And Mississippi State has fought all the way from inside their 20 to inside the one. But they're going to have to fight for this touchdown. Third and goal. They fake the toss. They throw to the end zone. And it's intercepted by Lester. And in 
you saw the first interception in 135 tosses for him. Here's Yeldon. Wow. His feet are quick in the hole, and now they're quick to the outside. T.J. Yeldon across the 40, all the way out to midfield. If A.J. doesn't come back out, Blake Sims would be the guy that we would anticipate would come in for Alabama. And Dell, really a short kick this time. Trying to clear everybody out of the way, and now Alabama. Robert Lester's the guy that ended up with a football, but let's see. I don't know. They're, they're saying they got the ball, but I didn't see it hit a Mississippi State player. Here's another look. I mean, Banks is yelling, get away from it, get away from it. Skinner has no idea where the ball oh, is, and it went right off his back into Lester's hands. They have two quarterbacks in the game. Ely is the other quarterback out wide. Sims goes straight ahead after he fakes the fly sweep to Cyrus Jones. And there's Philip Ely. Blake Sims staying in there at quarterback again. A.J. McCarron went to the locker room a couple of minutes ago. Third down and three. And ball never got snapped. Everybody except Barrett Jones. <laughs> ball starts. Offense, number 65. Penalty. It remains third down. Now is into the words with friends thing, which a lot of my family's into as well. So is Holly. She's going to challenge him, I'm sure, for the rest of the year. And that pass to Lacey on the run. Eddie Lacey's gone. Touchdown, Alabama. Philip Ely, 27-yard touchdown pass. The other quarterback was in there taking snaps from the shotgun, Blake Sims, and then when he got under center, he threw a touchdown. Here's Lewis from the five-yard line. Lewis pops through, out across the 40 to the 41, and the ball comes out. Does Alabama have it again? And Alabama's got it. They came into the game leading the nation in turnover margin with plus 17. And you got to be good in every phase to have a chance against this team. And they've never given themselves much of a chance. Here's Yeldon. And he goes for about five as we check in with Reese Davis. Reese, what do you got? And now they take away the hopes of the Sooners. Any kind of hopes they had for BCS championship game. And first down run by Yeldon. Let's check in with Holly. And for Mississippi State, this was the beginning of a really tough stretch of football games in their schedule. And they're going to have to regroup after their first loss of the season. Drake, another freshman, blasts his way for 11 more yards. First down at the 18. High snap. Sims pulls it down, goes straight ahead, spins his way for three, maybe four. Tough run. Maybe more than that. Trailing for a total of 15 seconds. That one just blows <laughs> I know, me away. I know. I was sitting there thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, nice move in the hole by Drake. And he's got it first and goal. We're excited to be in this game, and we know it's a huge game. But quite honestly, the A&M game next week might be more important because regardless of what we do in this one, that one looms large. Drake's going to just cruise into the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. I got to think decaf somewhere along the line. <laughs> Here's the kick. A yard deep. Robert Johnson bringing it out. Johnson, a little bit of a seam. And nice return again. He told us that he meets with recruits Friday after practice. He met with four gymnastics recruits, so they're all building on each other's success. It's pretty awesome, as if Nick wasn't busy. Here's a throw by the backup quarterback, Dak Prescott, complete to Robert Johnson. Josh Robinson in there behind Prescott. They fake it to him. Prescott throws complete this time. That's first down toss out to the 48-yard line to Johnson on the other side. 126 to 3 in points off turnovers for Alabama so far this year through almost eight games. Got a flag down. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 44. 15 yards from into the run, automatic first down. So the two teams that split last year. But since that time, they've only allowed one opponent to gain over 300 yards of offense. Wow. And that was Georgia Southern, who runs a triple option. Everybody else they've held under 300. Well, here comes another possible turnover. Prescott got back on top of it, way back at the 45-yard line. Pump fake, and a deep throw in the middle, and a good one it is. 
Lewis with the catch and it is a first down. Nice throw by Prescott. Yeah. Remember all their other red zone trips tonight have ended in disaster. Josh Robinson to the outside and now a first down run and he's still taking would be tacklers down to a first and goal for Mississippi State. First and goal. Prescott rolls throws to the end zone and it's caught for a touchdown and it's Robert Johnson who had three catches on this drive. Nice Two drive. yard touchdown pass. Nice drive by Dak Prescott. Would you consider moving to center which Holly told the story that he obviously did and is doing with great success but in saying that as Sims goes for a first down run and spins out to the 48 yard line I said to Barrett Jones. Great. Wow. Tough run. Taking Calhoun with him for 12 more yards. Second down and three. Stretch play to Drake. He is running hard. It just shows you how deep Alabama is, even missing a couple of running backs that Todd was talking about earlier. You can call the plays as much as you want, but you better have some guys that can make it happen. And those those big uh Space eaters up front are the guys that make it happen. The official said there's a two second difference on the play clock. You're going to have to take one more snap, coach. Alabama ran the ball their final 15 snaps from scrimmage as we've got a flag down. Five yards, still second down. All right. Because the foul occurred inside of the minute in the fourth quarter, it'll be a 10 second subtraction for the game clock. Ball game is over. So, Nick Saban, who will turn 61 on Halloween, has another treat to add to his bag of tricks here tonight. 38 to 7, Alabama, all over Mississippi State. Sports Center is coming up next. It's going to do it for us. Or Todd and Holly, Brad Nestle saying so long from Tuscaloosa. Number one is still number one with a bullet.